Tell me about the car, car, car in his voice. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, so boom. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to start doing the rest of my skits. Like, oh, skits. I'm finna start trying to do like one person skits. But for those of y'all who in Dallas, I'm in Dallas. Um, if y'all want to do skits with me before um I submit a contract <laughs> to start doing skits back with my homie, whenever we get past this beefing stage, then y'all let me know so we can get it done. You chewing big time. Dad, what does that mean? Let me get my charger. First I make them eat it to the earthquake. Some, some, some mind in an earthquake. Real good, real plugs and connections. First time, I made, was that thing thing it? Was it? Was it? Hold on. Now y'all already know TikTok all sensitive and stuff, so I ain't gonna be able to give y'all too many intricate details about the scenes of sexual activity. But I'm gonna do my best to uh y'all. I'm gonna do my best to do it. You know what I'm saying? Video? Dang, we ain't touched 123, but it's cool. Um, sorry, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, I make a minute. Oh. Okay, so boom. Y'all wait, wait. <laughs> y'all friends again. We cordial. Let's just say that. We cordial. We can read between the lines. What lines are you read between? Girl, I'm dancing with you. Something, something, something good of real plugs and connection. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boom. We hit 125. All right. It's a little cold in here. Okay. So, boom. So, I'm in my car, y'all. I'm headed to my auntie's house who live in Arlington like 20 minutes away. All right? So, y'all know me. I'm illegal. Hello, Miss Almond Joy. What up? <laughs> So y'all know I'm illegal. I'm going to TikTok and drive. I'm going to YouTube and drive. I'm going to do everything while I'm driving. Because I just feel like just because I'm driving, why does that mean I can't be on my phone? Like, at the end of the day, when you being... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on. No, I can't start from part five. Y'all already know that. I got to start from the beginning. Am I unpaused now? Girl, that man put you in jail. And he also was the one that went and dropped the charges. Like, y'all gotta understand the heat of situationships, relationships, friendships, things of that nature. I don't know. Black folks always talking through the movie. Let her tell the story. <laughs> can y'all hear me? Y'all can see me? We good. No glitches or none, right? So, hold on. Before I get started with the story, somebody said, Girl, that man put you in jail. Da 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 da. He dropped the charges in the heat of a moment in any situation. Let's just say your dude walk up to you and y'all have an argument or whatever. He slapped you or something, right? You call the police. Of course, in the heat of the moment, your thing is, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to hurt this man the same way that he hurt me. Then you're going to go drop it, right? But as a person that was in jail, he should know better. Yeah, but no, nah, y'all just y'all don't understand like what was going on at the time. Like y'all, y'all, y'all just on the outside looking in like, oh my God, like. He sent her to jail, like, uh, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm past the point. Like, you dropped the charges. We, okay, cool. Whatever. Eventually, I already knew I was going to jail, whether I turned myself in or whether um I got caught later. And it wasn't even because of the the assault incident. It was most, it was because of some other shit I had going on in my own life. You know what I'm saying? I got back together. We cordial. We cordial. Like, y'all see me? I'm always dolo. Whenever I record my videos, I'm dolo. Yeah. That's the lifestyle that I live now. But anyways, okay, so boom. So I'm in my car. I'm driving down the road, you know, headed to my auntie's house in Arlington. Y'all know me, I'm illegal and everything. So I'm on my phone. I'm TikToking and driving at this time. So I'm looking on TikTok, minding my business, and then boom, I pop up. Okay, so boom, part four of sleeping, getting engaged to a correctional officer. And I'm like, who is this? So of course I'm sitting here. So was it all a lie? A lie about what? So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out who is this man. Forget what you're talking about. I'm trying to figure out who you are. So push come to shove. I'm still watching. At this point, I done clicked on his page and everything. I'm watching. I'm going. I'm going. I'm like, oh my God. I don't give a fuck about the story. You is fine. You know what I'm saying? You is fine. This is all I'm looking at. So I'm pulling into the parking. I mean, the parking garage. I'm pulling into the parking lot of my auntie's apartments. I park illegal as a motherfucker. Jump out. Put my flash. Well, put my flashes on jump out him using you for my money 
Where did you get? Did I say that? I don't think I ever said that. I said he was using me for my money. Your mono. Hold on. We'll answer all questions. I'll answer all questions in a minute. Are you single or involved? This is on your page. Well, let me let me let me tell the story. Cause did I ever say he used me for my money? Hey girl. I don't think I ever said that, but y'all double tap the screen. I may have said something else, but I ain't never had no money for this man to use me for. And the only money that I ever incorporated was the fact that I bought a unit and he came to live in it. Never said that. I never said that. So I don't know where the heck that came from. Now, another girl came on there and she said, uh, she said all of that because she used to deal with him or whatever. But I never said that. So don't put that on me. Please don't. That's the first video I saw from him too. Never saw his page again until y'all spent. Okay, so anyways, so I pull up to my auntie's house. I jump out of the car and I'm running to her door and everything. I knock on the door. She opens. She's like, hey, baby. I'm like, auntie, you got to see this. So I show her my phone and everything. She's like, um, who is that? Is that your new boyfriend? Is that your new boo thing or something? And I'm like, no, I don't know who this is, but he fine. Do you want to stalk his page with me? And she's like, okay. So I sit down next to it and everything. We on the page. We going like, uh -huh. okay, so boom. Part one of them. <laughs> Leaving Juhi. Boom. Part, you know what I'm saying? We going up and down the page. So I sat there. Mind you, my only goal was to go out there and get my cousins and them and bring them back to Edison, right? So we sitting there two, maybe three hours max, you know, strolling up and down the man page. So when my cousin and was getting their clothes and stuff together, we getting ready to leave. I jump in the car and say, Didi, I got to show you somebody. Like, you ain't seen it in the house, but I got to show you somebody. She's like, what, girl, what? Because, you know, she like, she like my ride or die. Ace Boom Coon, you know what I'm saying? So I'm showing her, and I'm like, Didi, look. She's like, who is that girl? You got a boo thing? Like, he cute. And I'm like, no, he's not my boo thing. Like, he doesn't live here. He's somewhere in Tennessee, but I got to get this man here. Like, what the fuck? So she's like, mm, do your thing then. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, we I continue watching this page. Like, at this point, I'm watching it over again because I don't watch the whole page already. But this time when I'm watching it, I'm double tapping everything. Like, da -da 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 -da. Bitch, you're going to see me. You're going to see me. I don't care if you got a million followers. You're going to see me like, dang, who is this girl? Why she keep liking all of my stuff like this? you going to see me. So I'm sitting here and everything. So after I went through and I liked it all, I'm like, at this point, it ain't like I can go through unlike it and re-like it. Like, because I'd be reaching at this point. Y'all double tap the screen for me. And so we uh we get back to my side of town, Edison. And I was like, dang, bro, I need to go and get some stuff from Target. So we pull up to Target and everything, y'all. My and y'all. After I done went through and liked all this man's stuff, right? I put my phone in my lap because I ain't got nothing else to do. Like, I don't want to watch no more TikTok. I don't want to watch nobody else. I don't like, da 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 I want, I want this. You need to contact me. You need to do something to let me know that everything I did paid off. Like, you, you acknowledged that you saw me, right? We pull into the Target parking lot. We park, we go in. My, I send my cousins and them on the mission because at this point, I ain't even want to walk around Target. I'm so focused on the fact of, like, is this man going to respond to me? Is he going to say something to me? I ain't, mm -mm. Hey, this is what I need. Y'all go and get it. So after they go and get it, they was like, all right, we ready to check out and everything. So my cousin was like, oh, I want to go to Starbucks. So while she going over to Starbucks, at this point, I have nothing else to do. I done already paid for the stuff that we needed. I'm ready to go to the car at this point. So I pull out my phone. When I pull out my phone, I got TikTok notifications. I'm like, ah! Who is it? You know what I'm saying? Because at the point, I had like 300 TikTok followers. And I was following way more people that, that was fought than that were, then whatever. I was following way more people than was following me. Then they were following, however you say that shit. And so, I popped open the TikTok and all I see is Joe TV 3, Joe TV 3, Joe TV 3, Joe TV. I'm like, what the fuck? This is me, y'all. Real life. Like, I can't even make this up. So, I'm like... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So while in the mix, I'm so excited and happy because at this point, like everything I did paid off. Like my likes, my comments, and all of this stuff. It paid off. So I'm like, Didi, Didi. She's like, what, Sherelle? I'm like, bro, look. Look. She's like, what? And I'm like, bro, he responded. Even though he didn't respond, he just went through and he liked all of my pictures. And then he went and he uh he commented her picture. Uh, I mean, a heart little emoji on one of my videos of a bunch of, like, places. I had been in Miami, Los Angeles. Like, I was just all over the place. And bathing suits and all that. So, you have to see me in different elements of my life, right? You know what I'm saying? So, he commented heart photos under it. So, I'm like, ah! So, she's like, oh, my gosh, Sherelle, shoot your shot. And I'm like, 
shoot my shot uh-uh i don't do that i usually wait for people to hit me up or or say be like oh my god can i get your number like you cool let's be cool whatever whatever i ain't shooting no shots you know what i'm saying so folks got her pig with her. <laughs> no this is in the beginning we're not talking about way after like the year that we spent in each other's space or whatever right so <clears throat> I'm sitting here, I'm minding my ever-loving business, and it came, bright idea, bing bong, make a TikTok video acknowledging that he acknowledged you. Uh, send me an email, baby, I'll resend it to you. I'll resend it to you. So, I'm sitting here, you know, I done screen recorded all the little, all of them. I gotta find the video, because once I get to telling this part on the little story time and everything, I ain't gonna tell the whole thing. But once I get to telling this little story, I'm gonna have to put that right now. So anyways, I screen record the little TikToks and everything. I was like, all right, we got it. Let's do this. So I take the screen record, and then I put in the background of the TikTok. When I'm in the background, I'm like, Diddy, you wanna be in this video with me? She's like, okay, sure. So while I'm sitting there with the screen record in the background, and I got Kaylani playing, thank you, I was like, all I gotta say is I thank you. Yeah, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Looking obviously retarded as fuck, but hey, it didn't stop, it didn't stop it. So I posted the video after I was like, dang, bro, I'm real life ugly. Like I ain't got no lashes on. I ain't got no makeup on. Like, bro, I'm real live out here. You lit up, G, I know for sure. What you talking about, who a legend? So I'm sitting here and I'm like, Y'all look ugly, but at this point, I don't care. I'm gonna post it, right? So, when I post it, I'm like, all right, it's posted, but I don't want to look on TikTok again and see that I'm blocked or something. I don't even trying to be blocked. Y'all do me a favor and double tap the screen. If y'all can shut a live, shut a live. Let's get some more people in here. So, I'm like, I don't want to look on here again and try to like find this man page. He's like, okay, this bitch doing too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna block her because at this point, like, you're being stalkerish. All right. So, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna post the video, you know, and then I'm going to let it go. So, I post the video. I get off TikTok. I put my phone in my pocket. And then I get in the car after we leave Starbucks and we go home. When we go home, I go in. I make sure my cousins and them good. Like, hey, if y'all want something to drink, da 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 da. Everything is here. Everything is cool. Do whatever y'all want to do. Because at this point, my mind is focused. I'm on something else. So, I get in the shower. I get out of the shower. And the first thing I do, y'all already know, I go get the phone. I go get the phone. I had two notifications. Two notifications. So I had a like, one, which was for the video. And two, I had a DM. And I'm like, who DMing me on here? You know what I'm saying? Because in order for somebody to have a DM, I have to be following the person. And the person got to be following me. So I go to my little DMs and what do you see? Okay, so boom. What up? <laughs> so I'm over here. Like, I'm real life fanning out, y'all. Like, I know people, when they see me, they be fanning out. When I went to the hood the other day, I was in Walmart. I was like, can I get six of the, the wings? She was like. I know that voice and i'm like huh she's like you that girl from tiktok and i'm like whoo she's like no 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 don't hide don't hide. and she ended up taking a picture with me or whatever and she was just like oh my god i love you da, 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 da. y'all double tap the screen for me shut a live if you can share it okay it's back i think all right so anyway so i'm sitting here and i'm like oh my god he dm me right so i write back you know what i'm saying i'm like hi and so he's like, oh, I, I hate this. No, nah, it's not glitching. It's not glitching. My, um, I've been trying to get my car towed to the dealership for God knows how long. And that was those people. They keep calling back to back to back to back to back to back. And I'm like, bruh, every time I get on live, people want to start calling me like, find out something better to do. Find out something better to do. No, it wasn't glitching. And for the person who said who ordered the bootleg DVD, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't try to throw me off like I'm just some scratched up CD. Mm -mm, don't do that. But anyways, just signed up for the Zoom meet and welcome to the party. Put your phone on Do Not Disturb. How would that work? Hope it come through, right? Uh, my mom, it's a waiting game, y'all. They're saying even a nutrition specialist, all of that is not going to help her. So um, at this point, I don't want to say we're waiting for her to die because that ain't like if I could keep her alive as long as I possibly could, that's what I would do. But her biological kids have more standards or whatever. We'll talk about that later. So anyway, so back to what I was saying. Uh, y'all double tap the screen for me because we lost a lot of viewers because the freaking AAA people want to call me. 
Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So anyway, so when I checked my inbox, he was like, okay, so boom, what up? And I'm like, hi. He was like, what's good? Like, what you doing? And I'm like, nothing chilling, you know what I'm saying? So our conversation, I don't remember the complete conversation when it comes to the TikTok, but I knew for a fact when he did write me, uh, I was actually packing, getting ready to go to Miami. So I'm getting ready, Um, let's fast forward. So I'm getting ready to go to Miami. Mind you, me and him have been talking for a couple of days, but it was just like off and on here and there. You know what I'm saying? It was like, what you doing? How was your day? He would text me good morning, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? It was very like spaced out because of course he had his own life. I had my own life. So it wasn't like we were obligated to his to each other or something, right? So time came for me to go to Miami. I went to Miami with my brothers. I went to Miami with my ex at the time. And we were going, so I'm on the plane, and I text him, I was like, man, the, the pilot over here acting like we ride through the hood on some speed bumps. He's talking about LOL, what are you talking about? I said, the turbulence in this plane is awful. He talking about, man, he better lay in that mug safely with you. And I'm like, oh, because if you don't, daddy go cook through it, fuck you up. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking, you know, clearly. A, a, a normal person be like this bitch is a psychopath because not only did he not say y'all was together or any anything exclusive this bitch just start calling this man daddy <laughs> but this is this is what i was thinking so i'm like no 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 it's cool we gonna land eventually i think we got like 30 minutes left on the plane so anyways when i ended up landing we uh we went and got our hotel and all of that and my brothers and them they was just like shit bro whatever you want to do fuck you we going to go find a hose and i'm like whatever so i ended up putting on my black little bathing suit and everything i had my black bottoms on and i had this sheer thing what up miss snickers i had this little sheer lawn thing hanging up with my sandals and everything so i wouldn't just be walking around all with my ass cheeks and everything out because we wasn't doing that type we wasn't on that type of time so um i texted him i was like hey he was like what's up what you doing i was like nothing in miami just a little bored or whatever and he was like oh you want to facetime you want to chat or whatever and i already knew off the rip i'm like you ain't even got no iphone car he was like no i don't i have an android but we can google duo so <laughs> download google duo and i start facetiming him and everything the moment i laid eyes on this man in facetime i knew for a fact i was like yeah i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that whether he be mine whether we be linking up whether we do some sneaky dibby dabby dab with each other i'm gonna get that I'm, and I meant every word that I said. You know what I'm saying? If he does, tell him you're gonna come what happened? Let me hold you on the phone. Oh, here. And so I said, I meant exactly what I said. I'm going to get that. So anyways, we sitting there, we chatting. At this point, I got on my black bathing suit and all of that that I just described. And I'm outside by the pool. I met this girl named Damian Flanagan. For those of y'all who don't know, she's the CEO of Goat Glue. Man, lay a lace like a motherfucker. So... We met her or whatever. He was like, who are you talking to? And I was like, Damien Flanagan. I ended up giving her the phone. They chit-chatted for a little bit, exchanged IGs and all of that. And then I went, I'm like, at this point, you talking to my nigga a little too long. Even though he wasn't mine. But you know what I'm saying? I'm being real possessive at this point. So I grabbed my phone back and I go start chit-chatting. I was like, yeah, I was listening to your story and stuff. Like, I did four months in East Baton Rouge. You know, exposing a lot of the stuff that I've never told nobody. Like, a lot of the, the bad shit that I've been through. No, I won't say a lot. But some of the bad stuff that I've been through in life, I never, like, I don't tell people that. But for some weird reason, I felt extremely comfortable with this man. Like, I was telling him the time I went to prison, my adoption stories, all types of stuff that I've been bottling up inside. Don't get me wrong, it felt good as fuck to finally release it to somebody. But then what really made me feel good was the fact he was like, oh, okay, you've had a pretty rough life. You know, I can understand that. I've been through A, B, C, X, Y, and Z myself. You know what I'm saying? Double tap the screen for me if y'all don't mind. Shut a live if you can. And so we was chit-chatting. My brothers and them, they come over. They like, man, we want something to drink. Da -da 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 -da. So, of course, I ordered them something to drink. And the lady was like, well, we don't take debit card and all of that out here. So you just got to charge it to your room. That's where she fucking messed up. Because don't sit there and tell me in front of a bunch of broke motherfuckers that you could charge shit to the room. Right? Right? So by the time, let me go ahead and put this little in for more. Thank you. Thank you, Nish. So let me let me put this little bit of information in there. When I left Miami, I had a $15,000 tab that I had to pay. I was mad as well. And for those of y'all who don't know, yeah, we went and did the DDD. Well, I didn't do the DDD in mine. I just got the kickback for doing the DDD for a whole bunch of other people. So I was able to do that. When he said, yes, yeah, she read through all her money, that's exactly what the fuck I did. $240,000 fucking dollars I read through in four months. But that's neither here nor there. Whatever, whatever. What's your flavor, red? My favorite color? Yes. 
So, anyways, so when um I ordered their drinks or whatever, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go back up to the room. All right. And so he was like, all right, well, just hit me when you get back up there because, you know, the service on the elevators is garbage. So I get back up to the room. At this point, I'm rushing. I'm like, shit, I ain't finna miss no time with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I jump in on the elevator. The elevator shoot up to the penthouse because at this point, that's all I could get because that's all that was available. Right? So I'm up at the penthouse. You know, I go back in the room. At this point, I was like, man, I got to figure out how to prop my phone up because I ain't got my stand out here. I don't have nothing, like nothing, tripod, none of that. So I did travel with my computer. So I pop up in the computer. Y'all already know I got the little thing right there. I leaned it back a little bit, set my phone up there. I FaceTime him. I'm laying in the bed like this. <laughs> but I'm sideways. Damn, you fumbled the bag. Yeah, but hey, one thing about me, anybody know Sherelle, she know how to get it back. Point period blank. But anyways, so I'm sitting there. I'm uh, I, I'm FaceTiming him. I'm duoing him and everything. And I'm waiting for him to answer. He answers. He's like, what's up? And I'm like, she ain't nothing. You from what you doing? What's wrong? Oh. He's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing just sitting here. Tell me, you in Miami and you in the room? You in the room? And I'm just like, I just want to talk to you. I don't even give a fuck about being out here no more. Like, if I hadn't met you or whatever, I probably would have been out there mingling with people and all of that. Mm -mm. I'm here for you and only you. Let's talk. <laughs> so anyways, we chit chat and I don't remember the conversation per se. And I ended up getting up because I wanted to go open the curtain. When I went to go open the curtain, he was like, oh, you got tattoos. Oh, that's a green light. Oh, you want to see some thighs. See what I'm saying? I got the little split on my thigh and everything. So I bust it up. He's talking about you got them on both sides. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So when I'm doing that, of course, I'm standing to the side. He was like, you poke it. I was like, ah! This is real life, y'all. Like, I'm dead. <laughs> like, I can't make this shit up. So, I'm like, well, you know, I'm doing a little something, something. So, anyways, our conversations con concluded. Came to a small end because he said he had something to do. Whatever that was, I can't judge because you ain't mine. So, why ain't you asking? What you got? You going to talk to me later? All right. I'm going to talk to you later. Y'all double tap the screen for me. So, he hang up the phone. The first thing I do, I'm like, mmm, I do got on a cute little outfit. Body is a little nice. You know what I'm saying? Let me go and do some twerk videos. So I start twerking. I'm going to upload those so y'all can see them. And hopefully TikTok don't do nothing crazy. But I'm twerking. I got the shear. So when you got the shear, you can actually see through. So I'm dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I'm doing it, right? So as I'm doing it, I'm like, hmm, let me just save these videos because I ain't going to post them. Let me save them for something spectacular. You know what I'm saying? Just in case you're like, hmm, are you bored? You want to see me? I got something for you. <laughs> Girl, I've been there before. For real. For real. It's true to a true story till I'm here for. Welcome to the party. So, of course, we chit-chatted from here and there. On and back and off or whatever the whole time. So, Thursday morning, it came time. It was 4 o'clock. We had to be at the airport because our flight took off at, like, round about 7. So, I texted him. I was like, oh, we're boarding the flight. We're getting ready to go home. Boom. Fast forward. We get back to the house. We get back to the house, our conversation is concluded, but they start to get a little more deep. He was like, so what do you do for a living? Um, How long have you lived in Dallas? You know, questions when you're trying to get to know somebody. So I was just like, yeah, at the time. At the time, which is crazy because when I found out he was coming, I ended up quitting my job. But I don't, I didn't quit because he was coming to town. I quit because the DDD had come to play. I had all that money. I just didn't know I was going to run through it that fast. Especially me handing it out to people, doing this, trying to be kept and save a motherfucker for everybody. But that's neither here nor there. So anyways, I was telling him, I was like, you know, I'm an assistant general manager for Sonic. I run my Airbnbs, you know, things of that sort. And even though I was running the Airbnbs with the homeboy that comes into play later, I was still doing it. We were still making the money or whatever. So, of course, he was just like, oh, okay, well, I was thinking about coming to Dallas, you know, to promote my books and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, because mind you, I had already said, I need to figure out how to get this motherfucker to Dallas because not only do I want you your aura I want your aura I want all of that forget all the pig pigmatizing boom 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 I just feel like you and my presence will be like immaculate you know what I'm saying this is me thinking because even the connection I felt like that I had over the phone I know that bitch gonna be 10 times 10 times in person you know what I'm saying so anyways he was like yeah I'm thinking about coming to Dallas you know to promote my books and stuff blah 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 and I'm like okay he was like, yeah, you said you're around Airbnb, so if I wanted to come there, how much would you charge? I mean, I'm just like, mm, um, at the, I think at first I said I wouldn't charge him anything. And so he was like, well, what if I want to come for like three months or something? 
And I'm like, shit, if you just pay the rent, you can stay at the unit. Like, I ain't even tripping because I knew what he was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Because not only, like I said, I was just watching his stories because he was fine. I was listening and I understood where he had come from, what he had been through and where he was trying to go. So, shit, if you want to come, shit, just pay the rent at the unit and you're good. He was like, so what about six months? You good, bruh. You good. He's like, so if I wanted to stay for a year, all you're going to charge me is the rent. Ask me again. Ask me again. All right. So anyways, we got this squared away. And of, of course, the conversations kept going. The good night, love. Good morning, love. All of this. What you doing today? That's all you need, but understand. Right. So uh, we're going to fast forward because the conversation was just mute. Like, you know how little conversations go. So um, he had texted. He was like, hey, I got to go to a baby shower. But after I leave the baby shower, I'm headed to Texas. So in my head, I'm like, I tell all my niggas. Cup of check. Yeah, bust it down. Turn your goofy down. And so, um, while he doing all of that, I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Now, I had already knew, like, it takes 10 hours to get from Tennessee to here. But I don't know where your baby shower is, so I'm going to just give you 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you 24 hours. Now, mind y'all, I didn't really have no intentions with the guy but to just have him in my presence like i need to see that this same energy you give over recording is the same energy that a person can get in person like that a nigga can get in person like let's see if you can you have that same effect in person do you or is this just some camera shit right so anyways uh he ended up texting me later on that evening he was like i'm in route and i'm like Fuck it up. I told a lot of my niggas. Yo, cut the check. So I'm sitting here excited. And I'm happy because I'm like, bro, I need to go to sleep early. Like, I need to make sure I get some rest. I need to make sure I do this. I need to make sure I do that. Because when he texts me in the morning and say that he here, I want to be all like sprucey and everything. Why my dumb ass stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning when he texts me the next morning at 9 o'clock and was like, I'm here. I don't know exactly where to go. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God. <laughs> But let me get my ass up. So I got up. I still have my bonnet on my head, but I brushed my teeth really quick. I put my robe on, put on my little slides. I jumped in my car and I went over. Now the whole time, y'all, I'm walking to my car. My heart is racing. Like, you about to meet the motherfucker that want any, I guess, spiritual or whatever person will be like, you manifested this. You did, you did that. And I was real life just like, bruh. Cause I gotta get to Dallas. I gotta meet him. Like I'm going to meet him. Point period blank. I don't give a fuck where I gotta go. If you host an event, I'm going. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it sounds crazy, but it, like that's the type. That's the time that I was on. Right. So I'm my heart racing. I'm in my car and I'm driving over. But at this point, it only takes like 30 seconds to drive from my apartment at the time to um to to the unit that he was in. But I'm driving slow because I don't want to see him all anxious and stuff. So I'm driving and I'm just like, I'm coming through. And you're going to have to follow me up to the fourth floor. Then I'll give you this thing that you need for your car. Y'all double tap the screen for me. So while I'm sitting there and I'm driving up, I see him following me. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm looking in the mirror and everything. I'm like, bro, I look such a mess right now. Like, I got bags under my eyes. I ain't got no lashes on. Like, I just woke up like a bitch. This is really out here meeting somebody motherfucker new and looking real bummish right now but you're here now you gotta do it you gotta do it you know what i'm saying so i pull up you know i bag my car in trying to pretend like i'm some professional driver and all of that shit so i bag my car in so i'm like all right bonnet on straight you know what i'm saying lips ain't crusty ain't no eye boogers or nothing because of course i brush my teeth and wash my face before i came Sherelle. Get the fuck out of the car because the man is already out of the car. And the only reason I knew he was out of the car is because when I looked to my left and I'm like, this motherfucker is tall. Like my heart just melted because not only did I think that he was going to be freaking short, he proved me very much wrong. I'm like, ah, so when I hug you, my head gets to be all in your chest and shit. So anyways, I jump out of the car because I ain't got no more time to be sitting here procrastinating and shit of that caliber, right? So I jump out of the car and I'm gonna go straight to the door. Like, bruh, follow me. Like, common sense will say, follow me, bruh. He like, dang, I can't get no hug. And I'm like, uh, you know, on the inside, I'm like, <laughs> but on the outside, I'm like, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be cool, calm, collect. Yeah. Anyway, so I walked over to him and I hugged him. Y'all, the very first hug I got from this nigga was like, I'm here. You okay? You ain't got nothing else to worry about. All these problems you be trying to take up on yourself. 
You can talk to me about them. You ain't got to be out here trying to fight these demons alone. He, all of that, like, I just felt like everything that I ever was dealing with was just released. And he just took it, like, soaked it up. It was like, mm, I got it. Like, I'm strong enough to do it. Like, I feel like I'm here for a reason. And you're not strong enough to do whatever it is that you're trying to do for yourself. So let me help you. Touch. Like, I'm like, like, I felt like that. And so, I had to let go. Because at this point, brother, like, you're taking too many of my problems away. Like, I want to deal with some of them. Like, you can't handle them all. I want to deal with some of them. He don't look that tall. How tall is he? He's 6'3". You, you are still lighting up when thinking about the beginning. Yeah, that's the energy us women need. He felt your heart beating hard with that first hug. How tall was he and how tall are you? I'm 5'8". He's 6'3". So, I'm like... So, of course, I ended up letting go. And I'm like... The apartment's this way. Now, mind you, I'm mind-boggled at this point because why do I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Why do I feel like this is it? This is what I've been looking for. This is 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 what I've been searching for. You know what I'm saying? Why do I feel this way? So, anyways, we go in. I type in the code. I'm like, hey, the code to this door is boom, 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 boom. He's like, all right, bet. You're going to have to text it to me. And then we walk right in. Boom. Apartment's right here. And I give him that code. We go in. He's like, you know how somebody takes that fresh breath of fresh air because something is brand new or it's like a new environment now he not short at all yeah he's six three so well like six two and a half but six three or whatever so you know that new breath of fresh air like you're in a space that's finally yours and you're just there yeah hey i gotta go to the bathroom let me take a break because we're gonna we're gonna get back to it y'all double tap the screen for those of y'all who don't know, I have my book about our whole situation on my website. It's only $15. Y'all go grab it. I'll be back. Gotta go to the bathroom. All right, I'm back. The dude that be telling his stories from prison, it was more so a situation shoot. What is y'all talking about? What? Is y'all in here having a whole argument without me? What's going on? Who is she talking about? How's y'all summer going, Chad? That's her brother. Who's my brother? It's okay. So, boom, I did not expect him to be 6'3". Oh, he's so fine. So, her and Joe date. We do not. Now, ain't no way dog a whole 6 feet 3 inches. He looks miniature <laughs> you gotta see him in person dog the dude that be telling okay no he was a sneaky link it was more like a situation ship yes him i mean about prison i found my special friend here in dallas he makes sure i'm safe what's your sign i'm a pisces talking about who walked in oh that's my brother that's who walked in if that's who you're referring to child no nah, i scared what you scared of yeah, somebody know him. That's Bobo. Bobo, they looking for you. Team Pisces, you heard? Sorry, y'all. Them moves keep rising up. Um, where did I leave off at? I forgot. Pisces, you emotional. Everything makes sense. Continue. <laughs> the go. All right, so scared. Go to church. <coughs> Pisces game. What up, Shad? Book out yet? Oh, the book is out. It's on my website. Y'all walk in, gate code. All right, boom, boom, boom. So we get to the house, everything's cool. Coba said, I'm like, you like it? He's like, yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? That made me feel good on the inside because not only did me and my daughter go and furnish this mug for him, but we made it feel like all you got to do is come here and just bring your stuff. You know what I'm saying? And this is on some real G-code shit. Like, 
if I was to meet somebody else and had the opportunity again, again to do that for them, I would. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, push come to shove. So I leave because I'm I'm bummy. I'm bummy. Like I'm not gonna stay in your space looking all bummy and all of that. So I go over to the house and everything. I take a shower. I get myself together for the day. Now I'm expecting him to hit me up and be like, "Hey, what you doing? You know, you want to show me your city? You want to do this? You want to do that? I'm gonna hear from the man in three days. I don't like physically hear from him in three days. Like the whole good morning." and the good nights and the periodic what you doings and things of that nature like i was getting those but as far as like physical contact that i thought i was gonna get because he was here i wasn't getting that i wasn't getting that and i was sad i ain't gonna lie i was sad y'all double tap the screen for me do me a favor and oh it's shut alive if you can so while i'm sitting there uh after day three Girl, how fast I would have put him out that place. Because he wasn't hitting me up. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to play your cards close. Not far away. Close. So anyway, so after day number three, he hit me up. He was like, what you doing? And I'm like, nothing, chilling. And he asked me if I wanted to ride with him somewhere. I don't know if we went to Walmart. We went somewhere because he may have been trying to get some stuff for the apartment or whatever. First breath when he walked in. <laughs> and you know it. So I'm in the car and I'm sitting there. We actually at this point having a conversation y'all and out of all the situations and things that i've been with or dealt with in life and things of that uh of that caliber i've never had no one to genuinely have a conversation to try to understand me and where i'm coming from or what i've dealt with or what i've been through so that was different for me and i ain't gonna lie i was low-key scared you know what i'm saying so pisces we played a long game exactly so while we sitting there we talking i'm expressing whatever it is that i'm dealing in my life without exposing you know the stuff that i had going on that i didn't want to feel like he had to run from or be afraid of or things of that nature it ultimately ended up saying um like hey you got a lot going on I ain't never met a me. You know what I'm saying? The way that I am with people, he felt like he was the same way. Like, basically, you're like yin and I'm like yang. You're like up and I'm like, I mean, not, yeah, yin and yang, they go together. Ham and burger go together. Uh, toast and jelly go together. You know what I'm saying? You're like me, but in a woman's form. These are the real conversations that we having. And I'm like, dang, bro. Like, you're right. And he's just like, all the stuff that you do for other people, you're not going to, like, they're not going to... You know what I'm saying? Reciprocate the same thing. They're not going to do it for you. And it, I had to think for a minute. And I'm like, he might be right. Like, he might be right. But who are you to come all the way from across the world and try to tell me and read me my rights? Who are you to come and try to tell me this, that, that, and the third is going to happen? But I was, I was, I was, I was soaking it up. I was anticipating and reciprocating it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, understanding it. So anyways, uh, we finished doing whatever it was that we was doing that day. He dropped me back off at the house and he went home, right? So a couple hours had passed by. I'm at the house. I'm doing whatever it was that I was doing. And he texted me. He was just like, thanks for the gift. He was just like, um, I'm going to take you to, to, to breakfast tomorrow. Now, mind you, I never, ever, ever had anybody just text me and say, I'm going to take you to breakfast tomorrow. Be ready type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of just like... Cupid has done it again. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So I ain't never had nobody do that, right? Thank you for the rose. And so I'm sitting here like, she, I ain't really had no intentions with the man when he got here. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to meet you and all and see what that <clears throat> was working with. But uh, you're doing it. You're doing it. You, you, you're doing that thing where you, you make people fall in love with you. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, I'm like, all right, that's cool. He was just like, yeah, so um, I'm going to hit you up in the morning, whatever, whatever. So the next morning rolled around. You know, I set my alarm for 9, 30, 10 o'clock because I get up. At this point, you know, the DDD had run through. I had already uh stopped working for Sonic. So I was just living my life, being me. Living lavish, shopping every day, uh, taking trips, uh, just all types of craziness. Mind y'all, at the time, I only had 300 followers on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So he uh, ended up texting me around 11, 30, 12 and was like, oh, good morning, good afternoon, you ready? And I'm like, no. Like, normally people will say, you know, I'm on the way, get ready, like anything. So, but mind you, I had already brushed my teeth and all of that. All I had to do was really slide on some clothes. So I put on this little dress and I was let me see if I can find a dress for y'all real quick. <laughs> Where that dress is? Oh, I do got it. So, this is what I wore. Let me tell y'all. So, I had this dress right here. 
And you know how I said it had the split up the side? Yeah, that mullet there should be making me poke. And then it got this, right? With the blue jean jacket, then I have my little slides or whatever on. Not slides, cause that sound ratchet. I had my, uh, I had on my little sandals and everything. So he pull up, you know, pull up skirt skirt. He pull up skirt skirt. I'm not gonna put it on, that's just a little too much. You know what I'm saying? So he pull up skirt skirt and I go out. He was like, I'm here. So I go outside. Walk out the side of my building and everything. When I walk out, I see him reach over in the car. He opened the door. I do. Like, even to this day, the man don't let me touch doors. Like, I kid you not. Like, no, I'm the dude. Let me touch the door. You walk through the mother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Chill for you at his finest. <sighs> God dang it. She's not turning my clock off. Are we happy? <laughs> Hey, that thing was probably thanging too. So I get in the car and everything. So we 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 chit chat, we going, we just driving at this point. Cause you don't know Dallas. I barely know Dallas and I've been here my whole fucking life. But we just driving. We on the highway, 121. We uh we come to this exit. O C D kicking in. Right. <laughs> we come to this exit and he exits and we go and we pull into the restaurant, the parking lot restaurant of 54th Street. And I'm sitting here looking, I was like, bro, I thought you said breakfast. I mean, I know it's all noon, finna be one o'clock and shit, but um, I thought you said breakfast. He was like, you ever been here? I'm like, nah, I ain't even know this place was here. I ain't shit, I ain't know this place exists. You know what I'm saying? So, hey mama. So we park, he parks. We get out of the car. When we get out of the car, I'm walking. Mind my loving business. We go in, he, well, he opens the door. We go in, he's like, for two, please. And I'm like, mm, ain't you gonna speak? <laughs> finna throw that back. Yo, but this is me on the inside of my head. But you know, I gotta keep it, keep it cute, keep it calm. You know what I'm saying? From go throw that neck for your daddy, yo. <laughs> this is this is me inside of my head, y'all. I'm being 100. 54th Street, yes, right off of uh, it's in Louisville, right off of the highway. So we sit down, and uh, the waiter comes through, and she's like, "Yeah, hi, welcome to 54th Street. Uh, can I get you guys something to drink? Y'all double tap the screen for me. Can I get you guys something to drink? I know I'm a drinker. I'm a drinker." I'm a big time drinker, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, let me uh, let me get a strawberry margarita at the time because I was trying to be all light. I wasn't getting too intoxicated because I know how I am when I get. He take you to a new restaurant in your own city, right? I know how I am when I get that alcohol in me. So anyways, he ordered him a coke or something, whatever. He ain't drink. He don't drink. So he ordered him a little coke and all of that. And uh, dang, clappers, just be patient. So he ordered him a drink and everything, and we place our food order, and the waitress leaves. So we sit in there, we mingling, and we talking, and then it goes mute. It just goes mute. I pick up my phone. He's like, hey, I got a question. And I'm sitting here like, okay. Now, I'm a horse racing because when people say that they got a question, somebody's in trouble. And, bro, you ain't been here 35 fucking seconds, and you ask me a question. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, um, what's the question? He's like, would you sleep with me? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, because it caught me off guard because I know I'm blunt and straightforward because I don't know if I had got enough alcohol in my sister, I would have been asking her to sleep with me on the first night. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. And I'm like, <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, he didn't know my telltales, my um, my telltale sign, my tell signs or whatever, right? And so I'm like, He's like, yeah, would you sleep with me? I'm like, no. He's talking about, so you ain't bring me out here in with the hopes of you getting the chance to sleep with me. No. You do your thing, I'm going to do mine. Knowing I'm breaking my own heart on the inside because if I'm telling them they can go and do their own thing, they're going to go and do it. And then if I find out, I'm going to be heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? So then he's like, okay. All right. That's what you say. Cool. So now I'm at this point, I'm thinking like, is he being nonchalant? Is this a question? Was this a setup? Was this something that I needed to be able to be like, Yes, to prevent him from going to further break my heart. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. I ain't, I ain't putting you under no stipulations. Or none of that. Do your thing, boss man. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, they bring our food. We eat. We this, we that. We get up. Mind y'all. I had to argue the nigga to pay for the tab. Like, dang. Can I pay for something? Can I pay for something? Like, let me pay. You ain't got to pay. You ain't got to do this. You ain't got to. Okay, puppy. Okay. <laughs> pay if you want to pay. <laughs> So anyways, we ended up leaving the restaurant. When we left the restaurant, we went to this mall called uh, Willow Bend. When we went to the mall, immediately I was angry. 
Let me just let y'all know right off the rip. The entire time I'm yelling, get your man, sis. <laughs> I'm angry because when we go into the shoe store, all I hear is, oh my God, you that dude. Okay, so but like, oh my God, you're that dude. And I'm sitting here like, y'all are fucking groupies. Not only was I being a groupie at first, he just didn't know that I was being a groupie, but like, y'all are fucking groupies. Like, ugh. But I, I wasn't mad because they knew him. Like, hey, do your thing. I was mad because y'all taking the attention away from me. The attention is supposed to be on me. I'm supposed to be working on a masterpiece here. I am supposed to be working on something very specific. And you're talking about it. So now that you have his attention, his attention is not on me. And so, of course, I followed him into the store because out of respect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a jerk or whatever. But when the conversation started to get too too long, they kept talking. I'm like, mm-mm, this ain't for me. I don't like my attention being disrupted. I don't like people having it. No, no, no. So I walked out of the store and I started walking around. Of course, they stayed for like another 10 minutes talking. I'm like, okay. I turn around and I walk back to the thing. He was like, oh, she, she like, she ready to go. Let's go. And I'm like, oh, you leaving because of me, daddy. You got, okay. Okay. So anyways, we ended up leaving after walking around the mall for a little bit more. And he dropped me off at the house. When he dropped me off at the house, of course, we still hung out. We did, like, I would go with him whatever places when he was trying to just figure out Dallas or whatever. Hey. You said, do you? Right. And that's where I fucked up. Y'all double tap the screen for me. Shed a live if you can. Let's see if we can get this to 50K likes. I'm sick of you. I'm for real. These are the bipolar moments that I'll be having. So, of course, we were still doing what we was doing, hanging out. He would call, chit chat. I would go over. Of course, I was cooking. You know what I'm saying? Because I said I was going to cook and I knew how to cook. And you was going to be well fed when you got here. You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> while we doing all that, we're going to jump forward a couple days. He hit me up one morning and was like, so, oh, not one morning, one afternoon. He was like, so what you doing later on? I'm like, nothing, chilling. He was like, you want to go out to eat with me? Grab uh, grab some, grab a bite to eat. That was his thing. You want to go grab something to eat? Go out. Whatever. So I'm like, yeah. In my head, y'all already know. I'm an alcoholic. I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink because that's what I do. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, sure. Let me know where we're going. So, you know, when you first meet somebody, when you first meet somebody, you got to keep that eye. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep that out. So you got to keep it all sprucey. Keep the tits sitting up. You got to wear some nice clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was dressing up and everything. He pulled up. When he pulled up, I jumped in the car. And he was like, so where do you want to go? And I'm like, shit, I'm in your car. We going wherever you want to go. Had y'all be intimate? Oh, we getting there. No, no, no. We hadn't. We hadn't. So we pulled up to Applebee's. You know what I'm saying? I like Applebee's. I like their bourbon chicken and shrimp. You know, they got the grilled onions and mushrooms on the bottom with the mashed potatoes that's loaded up. And then I get all the alcohol that I want to drink. So we pull up to Applebee's. We get out of the car. And we go in. We sit at the bar and all of that. Me and him, we converse and we chit chat. And I'm ordering shots of Patron. He drinking his Coke and then some water. You know what I'm saying? Eating whatever. I think he was eating wings or something at the time. And I was eating, like I said, bourbon chicken and shrimp. So we sitting there. We chit chat. And I, I got to run on them back to back. Can I? Um, yeah. <laughs> Patron, 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 Patron. I think I had like six of them. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a heavy, I'm an avid drinker. So alcohol doesn't affect me as much because I drink it so much. So it takes even more each time around to get me to feeling like, mm-hmm, I'm there. So with the six, maybe eight shots that I had, and after eating the food when we was leaving, uh, he was just like, you feel like driving? I was like, cool. Maybe you wanted to see how I was driving, whatever, whatever. And, of course, like I said, alcohol doesn't do much to me at all. You know what I'm saying? So, I was able to drive. Even though I was tipsy and I was a little young, alcohol doesn't do too much to me, to me at all. Like, I got to be, like, drink a whole bottle straight to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, as we drive and we get close to my house, my thing is, I'm going to go home. You go home. You do it. This is, this was it. So, we pull up into my little parkway or whatever right in front of the car. And so, I looked at him and I'm like... You want to come take a shower with me? And he's like, what? You know, the same look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We blunt and straightforward around. The same way you asked me that question in the restaurant is the same way I'm asking you this question right now. Y'all double tap the screen for me. Oh, yeah. Send me a gift. Thank you for the ice cream cone. So, um, he's like, what? And I'm like, none. None. He told me, no, 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 no. What did you say? And I'm like, I just said if you wanted to come and take a shower with me. He's like, I guess, sure. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, I kind of feel like he just 
Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. Hey, I got 468 people in here. I need for each of y'all to just hit the screen two times. Beep, 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 beep. If y'all can share the live, just click the little share button, share it to one person, and then jump off. You can get back on. And for those of y'all who are not following me, do me a favor. Hit the follow button. So, um, I'm in my head, I heard the man say, like, yeah, she, I'll do it. But then I had to, like, double, double take, like, hmm? Did this woman just say yes? Am I about to get the dream of my life? Am I about to get the pig? Oh. So, I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah. But, um, am I going to have to leave my car right here? I'm like, no, 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 no. You, we, reverse. We're going to put it in the parking garage. So, so, I'm backing up and everything. I go on around into the parking garage. I back it up. And, so, my car ain't going to get towed right here or nothing, is it? No, 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 no. See right there where my car is? Reserve. You see all these little numbers down here? They're reserved. So right here where we are currently where I'm backing your car in is not reserved. Thanks for the roses. So we park the car. We get out. He lock his doors and everything. Boop, 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 boop. Punching the codes. Walk around the long hallway. Come back. There's my door. We go in. When we go in, it's dark in there. Just like I need it. Ain't no reason to turn on light. I know what a bathroom is. I go Hey, T-Baby, I go to the bathroom, turn on the bathroom light, light a candle. Because at this point, he didn't already grab the blanket off my bed, went to lay on the couch like, bruh, you're getting a little too comfortable, a little too fast. It ain't even that type of party. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it is. So, anyways, I go in the bathroom, turn on the light, and then I uh, turn on the shower. Let, it, let the shower do what it does, get warm, get hot, da 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 So, I like doing that. I grab my, my closet. At, oh, well, across the unit because this closet is right here. But across the street, my closet is like my bathroom and my closet or whatever. So it's all connected. I'm in the closet. I'm grabbing my clothes and everything that I'm going to wear when I get out of the shower. Even though I wasn't going to wear no clothes when I got the shower because I was going to have a towel around me. But you get what I'm saying? I'm going to call him when I get off here, baby. Jay, I'm going to call you when I get off, love. I'm sorry. So, Mrs. So, uh. Meantime, so I, I get my phone connected. I'm like, Alexa, play Charlie Wilson. So she, Alexa, she just like, she knew the mood or something. She, butterflies is what I feel inside. And every time it's like my first time. Oh, hey. And I can never find the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Alexa knew what time it was. You know what I'm saying? Alexa was on it. So she planned it. I done turned down the bathroom light. So at this point, I only got the closet light. But I done closed the closet door like this much. So it's like real dim in there. So I jump in the shower. I'm just scrubbing up, dub You know, I'm getting myself clean. Mind you, we ain't did much but go out to eat or whatever. But I'm getting myself clean, soaping my body on up and everything. And I'm like, gotta tell him to come in while I'm soapy. So y'all know me. The me that I am, I jump out on the lake. You can join me now. Toss the phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So when I do that, I get back in the shower and I'm just, I'm adding more soap. Mind you, my body already soaked. So I'm sitting here like, mm -hmm. you are the reason I love the re Yeah, yeah, all of that. And so I kid y'all not, y'all. I'm thinking I'm in the shower for a long time. I it wasn't no longer than 55. The game, it has started. Y'all just don't be paying attention to my thing. But, uh. I'm going to post another video tonight. Don't worry about it. Pay attention today. <coughs> I be doing them and yeah. I'm going to answer all questions in a minute. So, I'm in the shower. I'm doing what I do. And I kid you not, not even 55 seconds later, y'all. And I may be exaggerating with the 55 seconds. The bathroom door open. <sighs> when the bathroom door open, I'm like nervous at this point because, bro, what if you're not all that you said you are? You know what I'm saying? What if all these stories I've been listening to you say just a facade? What if um you're working with a Vaina and I've been thinking you've been working with an anaconda? You know what I'm saying? What what if? What if? I had my doubts. So while I'm sitting there in the shower because I'm trying to pretend like I didn't hear him come in, but I heard like ears on alert, like what, 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 what? you know what I'm saying? I hear everything. So I'm just like, mm, cause you know the glass windows on my shower, because they were glass, they're all fogged up and everything. So I'm just like yeah, singing my whole Charlie Wilson and all of that. And then I hear the shower door open. 
okay so at this point because how, how tall he is when i look over all i see is his chest or whatever right dramatic effect me please the door open <laughs> so when i look over i see his chest like this is straight out of you like i see his chest and he jump in when he jump in he's like mm, excuse me and i'm like excuse me Cause at this point, you know what I'm saying? P got up and down the back. You know what I'm saying? All up and down the back is on it. Yeah, so I'm like, what have I done? So of course, I'm like, I'm letting the water hit me at this point. I'm letting the water hit me. He's like, oh, where the towels at? Bruh, you got in the shower to ask me where the towels was? Like they just in here? With me in the shower, where the water is running? Make it make sense. So anyways, he get out the shower because I'm like, no, bro, the, the towels are in that cabinet right there. Go go and get you a towel. So he get out the shower, he go and accumulate him a towel. And then he jump back in. When he jump back in, he's like, where the soap? I give him the soap that I had because it's only one bar of soap in there. Right? So I give him the, the, the soap that I had. He start lathering up and everything. But it, why are you lathering up? All I see is, I mean, all I feel. y'all know me i'm so extra i'm like because at this point i ain't looked at a chick so if i'm feeling this oh my back bro my inside's gonna be scrambled like motherfucking eggs man eggs bro why did i do this like this is me like tripping hard but i'm like you know what as much as i've been motherfucking looking looking for the anticipating I finally get it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. So, I'm, like I said, I'm a drinker. I'm intoxicated. At this point, whatever happens, happens. As long as I ain't got no baby in the mix. You know what I'm saying? As long as no baby comes from it. So, I turn around. I'm intoxicated at this point. This is my tail. I turn around. I'm sitting there. I'm rubbing his body. And I'm looking. I'm looking at it. At this point, at this point, you know I'm intoxicated. I know I'm intoxicated. We both. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at you. Looking at me. We looking at each other. I'm intoxicated, so I'm rubbing his body with my towel. Mind you, I ain't no dirty bitch or nothing. So, before y'all come, like, oh my God, you start rubbing him with your towel? I ain't dirty enough, so I'm just rubbing his body and everything. But me, at the time, I'm like, <laughs> I got the middle of your body touching the middle of my body. Let's go ahead and make a party. Let's go ahead and put two bodies together. The, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Kayla. So, I'm sitting here, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing at this point. Like, this is me in the middle of the body. We just going like, like, yeah, I'm going to help you soap down. I'm going to help you wash it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. We're looking at each other. Hey, we got 55 seconds because y'all know 55. Well, actually, 11 is my favorite number, but 55. Hey. Go get the book real quick. I'm going to tell y'all, but I need 685 people that's watching me. Click the link in my bio. Go get the book real quick. I'll be right back. I need to go get some water. Go get it. And when y'all come back, every person that purchased it, I'm going to follow you. I'll be right back. book it's the uh the book it is with us oh y'all heard me 
Hey. Yo, he bagged you. That's what's up. Bag me. No, no, not my books. Not my books. I'm talking about the book about me. And okay, so boom. Not my books. Yeah, we met on TikTok. Click the link in my bio. Go get y'all book real quick. Lord. Oh, snap. Where the freak my phone go? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the books I wrote. I'm talking about the book we wrote together. The fact you call him okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to call him? That's what y'all know that's what y'all know him as. <sighs> Once y'all get y'all books, come back and let me know. Hold on, I'm finna show y'all. Jaylee, she with her dad. Talking about this book right here. It ends with us. 365 days with Joe. 5K, that's all in a box truck. Is that minus gas and insurance? No, that's after I've already taken it out. <sighs> I am. Okay, hold on. I'm getting mine. Hey, once y'all get it, I'm going to give y'all two minutes. Two minutes. 642, I'm getting back to the store. Whole lot of time.